Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today I'm talking about how to defend against this new meta at Town Hall 10. Some defensive tips, we have some bases we're gonna take a look at and then show some replays as well so you guys can get the full picture here at Town Hall 10. Uh, for those of my Town Hall 9 subscribers, don't worry, I'll cover Town Hall 9 as well, but right now, gotta make sure I get Town Hall 10 covered uh, adequately because it's so dynamic right now, we're seeing such new stuff. So we're gonna focus on Town Hall 10 uh, at the moment, and especially in this video. Um, also, apologies to War Whales. Uh, I mean, I'm showing one of their bases, but you know, it's for science, for the greater good, and I'm gonna show my own base as well. So um, I do apologize if I'm burning a base that they don't want burned. But anyway, let's talk about um, Town Hall 10 defending. Using this base as an example, we'll take a look at another base and some replays as well. Basically, at Town Hall 10, you're defending mainly against hogs. Um, queen charge more generally, that's something you want to defend in general, but you want to have your base especially aimed at defending hogs. Now I have seen a few P.E.K.K.A attacks, but I think those are just kind of a fad and defenders will be able to defend against those pretty easily. If that does change, I'll be sure to update um, with a new video talking about how to defend that, but I don't think that's a big, as big of an issue right now. The main issue is defending against hogs. Um, First of all, one great thing about this base, notice these anti-queen charge defen uh, defenses. I guess even more than anti-queen charge, anti-queen walk, meaning the queen can't walk around the outside very easily. You have these two expos, which the queen can't reach from the outside, but they can cover quite a bit on the outside here with their range. Um, you also have this cannon down here, protecting this area from a queen walk. Also the air defense, because uh, as a queen walks along, it can shoot down the healers. Um, if there's no wall breaker entry, same with this expo here. Um, and uh, what these things do, you want to have them spread around your base. These defenses that are tucked back, four tiles between them and the wall. So count it here, three on the cannon, one on this little wall thing here. Uh, that's four tiles. The queen can't reach it, but it can reach her. So that means that it's not going to be a very efficient queen walk unless the queen um, enters the base, which is a whole different story, and we'll talk about that. Also, the air defenses are effective as well in that same position, because like I said, as the queen goes around, uh, they shoot down the healers, which cut, a, a, cut across and get too close. So those are things you want to have in your base right away. But talking about the overall setup and what the hog attacks are supposed to achieve, if you guys go back and watch my uh, hog attack video, just a few videos back on the strongest strategy at Town Hall 10 right now. I talk about the two things you want to get as an attacker, the two important things to do. And in this video, um, I'm gonna address those and how you want to prevent the attacker from being successful with those two things. The first one is you wanna take out the heroes. Obviously you have to take out the queen with your kill squad or your queen charge or whatever it is, the non-hog part of the attack. But also the king is very important as well to take out because the level 40 king does quite a bit of damage. Um, same with the skelly traps. They kind of are similar in that they do damage. And of course the CC troops, that should be obvious, um, especially if it's a non-hound loon CC, uh, which it depends on the base. We'll talk about that as well. Um, that's the one thing. The second thing is you have to clear out the core area to create a nice ring for your hogs. Hogs are not good going across the middle of a base because they spread out more than the heal spell can cover and they start getting targeted and surrounded by defenses. So it's just not a good way um, for the hogs to path to have them go through the core as well, especially when there's quite a bit of defenses on the outside too. So as the defender, you don't want the attacker to use a kill squad or a queen charge to come at your base, take out um, your king and your queen. If they get the queen, you know what's gonna happen, but try to avoid the king as well. And you also don't want them to clear out the core too easily, um, which will allow them to have their hogs go in a nice little ring around the base, uh, being covered by one heal spell. Um, all hogs covered by one heal spell at one time. That meaning that it's uh, narrow enough that they can all fit inside a heal spell. Um, so the core of this base in effect is, let me see if I can surround it here. It's basically uh, this area right here because if you take that out and you kind of go in a circle around the base, you see the width of that circle is no more, or it's kind of like a donut shape. 
it's not as thick as a heel spell. So a heel spell can cover all the hogs here. Um, it can cover all the hogs, you know, in here and all of them here. If you clear out that core, it makes it very favorable for hog pathing. But this is a good base because if you look at the core, it's not all in one compartment. It's kind of spread out in these three compartments and it's difficult to get all three of those taken out. Um, and that's for a number of reasons. First, the way it's set up, if you come from like anywhere along uh, this part of the base, you have to go very far to get these infernos, and otherwise it's gonna be a tricky pathing for the hogs, like I said. And if you come from anywhere on this side of the base, the infernos are much closer, but um, you're going into a single inferno and a multi, which is very difficult for a kill squad. Also, the giant bombs happen to be in these compartments, so the kill squad's gonna be hit up by all of those, and the pathing is unpredictable with these big inferno tower compartments, not many buildings. It's hard to predict, hard to funnel, um, to get in and get the rest of the base taken out, like uh, the bomb tower, that little core piece there, which is pretty important for hog pathing. Um, so talking a little bit more about defending hogs, in addition to all that, you have, like I said, the giant bombs by the Inferno Towers. Inferno Towers are not that hard on hogs anymore. A single or a multi, both not an issue for hogs. They can be an issue for a kill squad. And that's because they can uh, start to get some damage on bowlers. The multi can, because it can target five troops if the bowlers are close enough. It'll start to do some damage, but the single, perhaps more importantly, can break up a golem uh, very easily as well, or get the king or some kind of high HP troop in the kill squad. So typically, you want your Inferno's towers in the core. Um, if they're close to the outside, the attacker can ignore them with their kill squad and just use the hogs to take them out. So don't do the Inferno towers, you know, way close to the outside like we used to do in the old meta because they're no longer good at defending against hogs. So you want them near the core, meaning if the attacker doesn't take them out, they're going to screw up the hog pathing because uh, that's the biggest thing they can do, especially with how high HP they are. It, the hogs get stuck on them for a long period of time. They're best in the core because that way the defender can or the attacker can't just ignore them and take them out with hogs so right like i said the inferno towers are definitely in the core here and uh not in this ring that the hogs can easily traverse um other things to keep in mind giant bombs are here meaning it would force a heal spell in theory if the hogs covered there um whereas over here we have our spring traps and i like this part of the base right here that's a lot of hp two wizard towers two expos and what that does is it makes the hogs get stuck on it for a long period of time right around that area he has some springs and also some skellies to beat on those hogs so even with a heal it's still going to be pretty tough on the hogs they're taking double splash damage quite a few point defense um, so it's a nice kill zone for the hogs that hp can hold them up the hp is very underrated if we think of damage and stuff like that but look for the high hp buildings that the hogs take a long time to get through as places to put your skellies and uh, some damage because you have them contained and you can really take them out there with or without a heal spell on them but definitely going to be difficult to heal because if the attacker doesn't get this taken out they're going to waste their heals here over the giant bombs so keep that in mind for sure that covers most of the the basics on this base um we'll take a look at a few replays on it but once again just to recap guys um inferno towers keep them close to the core because that way the attacker can't ignore them and take them out with their hogs um you want to keep your uh, expos point defense and strategic locations to mess up a queen charge that's good against any attack cc the hound loon is good for defending queen charges i'd probably recommend it over a small cc um, in my opinion i even though it allows for some suicide attacks if you keep your queen in the core um, that's a great thing to do because it makes them have to come at your queen and that's where the hound loon cc uh, plays a good job protecting your queen um, when the enemy queen is charging into the base so i like the hound loon cc we have the kill zones keeping your spring traps away from your giant bombs and um, i think those that covers the main points so let's uh, without further ado take a look at a few replays then one more base so here's the first replay on this base this is uh, Dao attacking it, and uh, not all hog attacks are queen charge attacks. Um, we see kill squads very often. 
Uh, so let's take a look at this one, see how it shapes up, because it's a pretty decent plan. Uh, the golem is going to get torn up right here because there's so much damage. I like the compact bases post update. I think they're best for defending hogs. So in general, when it comes down to it, make your base um, more compact when you have the choices, just in general. Uh, so anyway, comes in with the kill squad here and you know gonna get decent value but the single inferno definitely does some work on these valks and the king uh, he uses his queen around the outside so gets a lot of this hp area that was pretty uh, deadly to hogs taken out i think he gets the defensive king as well so a good value from the kill squad but he doesn't completely clear the core and these teslas also qualify as the core let's not forget i didn't mention the tesla location but they just add to the core component of this base and if you look at how it's set up now the hogs are moving in it's very difficult for heal spell pathing, not to mention a few unlucky giant bombs that um, I don't think uh, Dao was expecting. So his heal was a little bit late. He hits a double giant bomb. Some of his hogs die initially. But um, even more important, the heal spells are going to be difficult because it's hard to get all the hogs in one heal here. And there's also a few spring traps, a few scaly traps, um, all that good stuff. So there's the giant bomb uh, that takes out a few of the hogs. Um, dropping the CC. And uh, like I said, that heal spell, not going to cover all the hogs at first. A few well-placed spring traps. You want to keep those between defenses, of course. Kind of basic stuff, but um, don't overlook that. Got to have good placement. Now, he does fat finger a heal, but even still, the core of the base isn't taken out. So if you look at um, where these hogs are going to go, there's the bomb tower. They're getting split here. They either go in this direction or down in this direction. He does have the CC to reinforce, but still, um, the, those CC hogs, even if they were to make it through under a heal spell, for example, they'd have to split between the bomb tower and the wizard tower so it just makes it hard when you still have the core up for the hog pathing because they're going from defense to defense but they're being targeted by a lot of different uh, defenses at once they're not getting them like one at a time and if you want more information on what i mean be sure to check out my town hall 10 attack strategy video um, that I just uploaded, like I said, for the hog rider attack, because it talks a lot about uh, what you want to do, and it also will help you um, know what to defend against in addition to this video. So that'll do it. One more thing to take a look at as we kind of wind down here. Um, the compartments are set up to make it difficult to do a queen charge. They are these like uh, skinny compartments, each containing roughly two buildings. There's so many of them here. You can count them. Uh, there's quite a few. Um, this compartment, that compartment, that one. And what these do, these kind of skinny compartments only holding a few buildings, very difficult for queen charges. If you have them arranged in these weird kind of matrix type setups, just kind of all puzzled together there, it makes it difficult to do a queen charge. And if you keep these defenses, the point defense somewhat spread out, the queen will often be targeted by point defense that she can't reach, which is very beneficial for you. So look to do that, to have these uh, smaller compartments, a more compact base, and no like big windy compartments the queen can just walk through with her healers. Um, so we'll see how a queen charge went in the next attack. Uh, but this was the first one here, kill squad base attack. You can see this base did very well. Let's take a look at the next one. So here's the next attack. Like I said, it has the five healers. It's going to be a queen charge and actually a pretty good queen charge. So I think this only goes to show this is a, a very nice base because the queen charge was good. It, um, it was pretty well designed. Um, he does, I think, miss the ability. Something goes wrong at the end, but it overall was a pretty good queen charge, but you'll see why it still um, didn't necessarily have the base taken out. This is a max Town Hall 10, so if you are a little bit lower level, um, well, this is almost maxed out, I should say. Not everything's maxed. Um, if you are a little bit lower level, do these same principles. It's going to be harder, but as you upgrade, you'll st your work will start to pay off, and it's good to kind of experiment uh, while you are not quite maxed out. And um, that way, when you do get further upgraded, your base will be even stronger because you already have that experience and you'll be used to working with lower level defenses. So it has to pop that ability. It was close there. If he was able to save it, it would have been a better queen charge. But um, unfortunately, he's going to have to uh, to keep the queen up with quite a few rages. And that's the, the, the benefit of these expos and good locations and as well as the defensive king, forced the ability in two rages already. So it's taking a lot to keep the queen up, as well as the Houndloon CC 
compact bases in a Houndloon CC make any queen charge difficult, whether or not the Infernos can block heal. So keep that in mind. Uh, he does a good job with the wall breakers opening everything up, and um, he loses a few healers to the expo there, but he kind of gets the queen charge together right now. That rage was a little bit questionable. I think it was just to pre-rage the queen because she's going to encounter another expo as well as the, another queen here. Um, or I guess the only queen, the defensive queen here. So she goes down uh, right about here just because so many healers died. Another uh, benefit of the compact base is that the air defenses, um, let me pause for a second, the air defenses can also take out healers. But if you look as the queen dies right here, what is still left up? It's a difficult uh, situation for these hogs because once again, that core is still up. By core, like I said at the beginning, I mean basically these three compartments, this triangle in the middle, and he's really forcing the attacker, who only has two heal spells left because a compact base that's well designed with the expos, um, Houndloom CC, Queen in the core, those important factors, it forces a lot of rages. He only has two heals as a result, and you'll see that the hogs are too spread out to all fit under one heal, has to choose to heal the group that's hitting the giant bombs and whatnot. Infernos, like I said, not much of an issue, but they are high HP, which give this, gives the skellies a chance to get on those hogs, as well as the Tesla while they're stuck taking out the Inferno. Um, and we'll see how this one progresses, but basically, um, uh, it drops down that first heal there. Hogs are doing okay, hitting a few spring traps. The healers actually kind of peel off towards the hogs here, but forced to use those heals very early. And like I said, um, it's going to be difficult with the double wizard tower expo. You basically need a heal over that, but it's hard to keep a heal when you have all the giant bombs initially. So those skelly traps hang around and these wizard towers are just deadly to hogs. Um, a lot of the base still left up. So that is, um, that's it for this attack. This base I think had a 99% on it, but I'm not going to show any more attacks. Just for sake of time, we'll move on to a, uh, to the next base here and talk about why it's another good example. So lastly here, we're taking a look at one of the bases I designed. Don't have any replays to show on it, but um, if you take my word for it, and I assume you guys are if you're this far into the video, uh, this is a, a good base, and um, I think it'll defend pretty well, especially against hogs. Um, a quick note before I talk about it is that Oftentimes, you know, there's going to be other attack strategies used on you, not just hogs. The Witch Bowler is more powerful for sure now that the heal spell is going to do more for your witches and your bowlers inside the base, which may uh, warrant using one multi inferno and just a few extra considerations. Um, giant bombs along the outside, which th this does have partially. Um, and that might warrant a separate video. I wanted to really focus this one on hogs because I right now I'm seeing the vast majority of three stars using hogs, but it's not a whole lot different for defending against the Witch Bowler, um, Laloon, and Dragons. Um, just mainly the same stuff I talked about in previous videos for defending. I think hogs are the biggest change, which is why I'm focusing on them because they have gotten the biggest buff as a result of the Inferno Tower nerf. So on this base, you can see a little bit different than the last one, and the idea is to put the queen slightly offset, and uh, she's going to be, she can't be uh, taken out by a queen walk. The queen uh, has to actually enter the base in the queen walk, so making it a queen charge. She has to come into one of these compartments here to actually take out the queen, and it's going to be a pretty big investment with all the point defense. We've got two expos. Uh, Archer towers, point defense, all around here. So it's going to be a big investment. It's also going to be a difficult queen charge uh, to go any deeper than getting just the queen taken out because you have the infernos which come into play if the queen charge is too far from this direction. And um, you have the compartment set up, like I said, these little skinny compartments pieced together, making it difficult to do a queen charge. The single inferno is very good for defending queen charges as well. This goes for all queen charge based attacks, including dragons and Laloon, um, so not just for hogs. Notice how even if you do a queen charge, it's difficult to get to that single inferno. If you come in this compartment, you can't reach it, can't reach it from this compartment can't reach this single inferno uh, from this compartment or this compartment. If you look at all these different possible uh, little entries here, they still can't reach the single inferno just by a little bit and that's very intentional because the single inferno therefore can lock onto the queen and take her out. 
but the queen cannot reach the single inferno. So don't make it too easy to have your single inferno charged. Also notice the infernos are pretty much in what you would consider the core of this base, which is this kind of like uh, this circle around here, making it so that the kill squad, which is not the best against single infernos, is going to have to come in and take that out um, in order to make the hog pathing work out around this base. And um, it's going to be a difficult push because you have to get to the middle of the base a lot of HP. You have expos, inferno towers, the CC, the town hall is also kind of nearby, which is a pretty good defensive tool. I don't think you should ever put it too far outside. I think inside a compartment is often the best place for it because it can really slow down an attack um, and prevent an attack from one side if you keep it near a bunch of point defense. Side note, I like the double cannon now to defend against hogs if you keep it nearby defenses so that way it can cover like a bunch of little defenses clustered up around it it can do some pretty good damage for you so i like the double cannon uh, the little archer tower like the uh faster shooting one the the geared up one also can be used uh, but i haven't experimented with it as much so i like the double cannon though so if you look at the queen she's offset meaning that if you want to take her out which you kind of have to do for a hog attack um, unless you're going to come across the entire base, which kind of doesn't make it a hog attack anymore. If you come from anywhere in this part of the base, um, you're not going to get a few key things. Most likely the king. The king might go down to a kill squad if it goes into this compartment. But if you just kind of superficially get the queen taken out and not a whole lot more, you have some very tough things to take out with the hogs. You have the uh, the king. You have a number of spring traps, which I, I like putting my springs kind of by these Teslas and outside defenses. Also have a few inside the base as well here. We have the skelly traps by some high HP, the wizard tower, the expo there. Um, I also spread my giant bombs out. You can cluster them around infernos like you saw in the last base, or you can keep them spread out. It just depends on how your overall base is laid out, and that's kind of a judgment call you have to make. Uh, but on my base, I keep my giant bombs spread out to kind of force heals around the base and uh, make it difficult to keep the hogs healed up for the entire attack there. So um, the element of surprise depends if your base gets scouted, um, which there's a good chance it will in a serious uh, competitive war. Um, at least the wars I see, these tens tend to get scouted. So don't be too crazy with how you surprise them with these Tesla locations. But I think even all things considered, if they know the Teslas are there, they're still tough because if you don't get them taken out with anything, it's going to be um, difficult on the hogs. And if they have to use a few loons to take out some of these Teslas, it's still an investment of troop space, which is going to take away from how many hogs they can bring. So that's definitely a victory. But overall, notice these defenses that are in good locations for defending against the Queen Walk around the outside of the base, namely this cannon. Uh, you have the Expo. These uh, That one Expo is better for a Queen Charge because once the Queen enters the base, um, in any of these kind of out, outer compartments, it can target her, but she can't reach it. Um, you have this Expo, this Archer Tower here, this Archer Tower here. Partially the cannon, you can reach the cannon from right there. So notice those defenses geared to defend uh, Queen Walks around the outside. And the Expos are kind of a little bit more focused on the inner Queen Charges, defending those along with the single Infernos. But um, hope this video helped. That covered the main things, the main points I wanted to make. So overall, the biggest things you should take away are keeping a core that has the Inferno Towers, preferably one of them at least on single target making it difficult for hogs because they have to either path across the middle, the core of the base, or the kill squad or the queen charge has to go in and take that out. Um, and they're not very good against the inferno towers, the single infernos especially. So have a tough core to take out with the queen charge or with the, uh, the kill squad. Have a good hog kill zone area where you keep the high HP by some spring traps and um, even more importantly, um, the high HP like Wizard Towers Expos, keep those skelly traps nearby. That's where the hogs are going to be stuck the longest uh, taking out defenses. Giant bombs, you can pack them in the middle or spread them out depending on your base design. Spring traps, just put them between defenses. Most important thing is that they actually take out three hogs because oftentimes they'll only get one if you don't place them exactly between defenses. So put them in good, well thought out spots have all the anti-queen charge stuff I talked about, um, which is good at defending any attack, and keep in mind other attacks that you want to defend, so your air defense placement can't let that fall apart. Gotta make it difficult um, to kind of take out a bunch of air defenses with a queen charge or a, or a kill squad, 
and you also got to uh, be cognizant of the uh, placement of air traps, the placement of stuff around the outside for your uh, for which attacks, and also um, possible giant bombs around the outside between defenses still, but around the outside as well as spring traps. That's why I love the spring traps, the giant bombs, putting these defenses and uh, putting these uh, traps near defenses on the outside of the base, which makes it so it's going to hit witches as they go around the outside, but it would also still hit hogs because it's still near defenses. So that's kind of a good way to defend against both attacks simultaneously. I'd go with the Hound Loon CC, um, unless you find uh, um, other combination works better, but I think that's still the best thing to go with. Try out the double, uh, double cannon, that geared up cannon. I think that's all I can say in summary. Good luck with your bases, and thanks for watching this one. Hope it helped. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.